This train terminates at Sa. We will be calling at Luton, Luton Airport Parkway, Carpenden, St Albans City, Radlett, Elstree and Boreham Wood, Mill Hill Broadway, Hendon, Cricklewood, West Hampstead Thameslink, Kittish Town, London St Pancras International, Farrington, City Thameslink, London Blackfriars, Elephant and Castle, Loughborough Junction, Hearn Hill, Tulse Hill, Streatham, Tooting, Haydens Road, Wimbledon, Wimbledon Chase, South Merton, Warden South, St Helia, Southern Common, West Sutton, and Sutton. doing here? This is the question. What am I doing? Well, I thought I'd come and do a bit of early morning street photography, but um, I wasn't quite expecting the rain. I'm not going to lie. So I'm heading off at the moment to St Paul's Cathedral. Uh, I think I'm heading off at the moment to St Paul's Cathedral. I'm going to try and find that. I'm going to try and do something with these nice reflections that the rain is causing here. Get some early morning shots. I bought the tripod out and then I'm going to do a bit of street photography once the light comes up and uh, the people come out. pretty heavy and uh, it's proper mean conditions actually not nice at all but um, one good thing about the rain is that it brings out these fantastic reflections in this stone sort of the road here. Um, I've come to St Paul's Cathedral or the road leading up to St Paul's Cathedral because there's a really excellent uh, there's an excellent image to be had here with this road leading up to the, uh, the dome of the cathedral in the background. Uh, I know this place because I drink on bar and corner occasionally when I come to London. <laughs> So um, yeah, it's uh, weather's awful, but yeah, I think I've got a good shot. Over. I'm getting absolutely soaked. Um, still out here in the same little area. I just looked down a little side alley and it's really nice, interesting, uh, little cobbledy street, uh, right in the middle of London. Some interesting signs, nice lighting, and the reflections, of course. Uh, I've taken a few shots handheld, so the ISO will be quite high. Uh, shooting at f2.8, but I'd imagine the ISO will still be quite high. And we'll see how they turn out, but oh man, it's like literally uh, just completely drenched drench through so um, I think we're gonna go and find somewhere dry maybe uh, have something to eat or drink a cup of coffee or something just to wake myself up a bit and then uh, come back out and attack some street photography <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is a bit dry now, I've managed to have something to eat dry off a bit, you can't beat a BLT at 20 to 7 in the morning, that's really got to be done in it. Um, it's really grey, um, I, really, I don't know if you, you must have heard of this guy, there's a guy on the YouTube, a blogger, uh, and his name is uh, Sean Tucker, and he's a properly good, properly good blogger, really good street photography, amongst other things. And I'm going to steal this from him. He's probably stolen it from someone else. Well, clearly he has. Um, photography in Latin is drawing light, photographing light drawing. That way around. Anyway, pretty difficult to uh, draw anything with light when you've got no light. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but. Um, gonna have to try and maybe get in a bit closer try and get in motion or I'm gonna have to say focus on how grey and miserable it is you know and almost bring out the photo that way to say it's a horrible miserable grey day so the weather's taking a turn for the worse again I'm taking shelter in this arch for a moment um, I found myself, as I'm wandering along taking photos, I found myself more and more looking for um, artificial light sources uh, because the, the, the light's so obviously poor because it's completely overcast and obviously now it's chucking down the rain. But um, these light, artificial light sources like windows of um, shops and uh, lights that like, illuminate in tunnels and things, they seem to be making for the most interesting light here at the moment and uh, just waiting for people to wander past them and then snap in the shop. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> I'm enjoying this, but well, I'm enjoying the photography, but I'm not enjoying this. doing any photography outdoors at the moment but I am however gonna wander down to um, St Paul's Cathedral I think and 
and over the Millennium Bridge and maybe over to the Tate Modern can't get anywhere can I so so there you go that's where I'm up to now like I'm taking composed images of architecture with a human element. I don't feel like I'm taking people, I don't feel like I'm getting people's emotions, I feel like I'm capturing a mood by the style that, of the composition and the fact that there's a human element in it is just, it's just there. So is that street photography? I'm not sure. What is street photography? Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to continue getting wet and carry on my journey. Oh my God, dry jumper. Thank you, Sports Direct. That's so much better. I think I bought it a size too big, but anything's better than what it was. It's horrible, really wet and soaking, and the weather now is dry, so that's good. Oh, right, off we go. So sometimes you've just got to say enough. I've arrived here at the Tate Modern, but do you know what? I think that's a vlog for another day. I, I just, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I've got soaked and I'm going to stop. I've enjoyed myself, I've had a good time, but um, yeah, enough's enough. So I'm going to call it a day for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I have no idea if I've got any photos in the back of the camera, one or two of them look like they had potential, but pff, no idea. But uh, you'll see that before I do. Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed it, then as always, thumbs up if you want to subscribe if you want to comment if you want to if you're going to criticize be constructive and uh, until next time I'll see you soon